So you, you, we know you can't really compare Michael Schumacher to Lewis Hamilton uh, as, as a greatest driver because they were different eras. There was a crossover, but the, the different phases. But people are always wanting to sort of look at how the certain generations compare. How would you respond to the general public on that? Oh, well, I think that's a difficult one. But I mean, Michael in his time, and I raced against him, I was on the yeah, same team. He, he was, was teammate, yeah. yeah. He was special and he was motivated and he was fit and he was, I think he was very fast. And, I, and the same with Lewis, but I think not, you know, that you not really can, who's the better one, you know, or would you say who had more luck to drive the fastest car at that time? Both had, you know. Yeah. I, I think Michael created it more towards his liking, you know. He took the people from Benetton to Ferrari, so it was basically a little bit the same team. And I think with Lewis, I mean, he, ma he, he made the right call to, to go to Mercedes at the right time. Nobody thought beforehand that he was winning six titles with them. And I think, he, I mean, he's absolutely top driver, but he also had the top material. So if we, if we look away from that, e this era, and look back to the time before you were in Formula One, did you have a driver that stood out for you, that either inspired you or you particularly followed or it wasn't like that for you? you I a think it was more like uh, Nicky Lauda yeah. and Alan Prost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Prost was someone that I always yeah. thought he was very efficient yeah. in the way he drove. He did have a bit of a weight advantage at that time. Yeah, he did. Yeah, which, uh, he still has. He still has. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, um, so you're out there actually racing with Lewis. Uh, Michael, you know his records from the past. You know how your father can explain how he drove. When you look at Lewis, now I know you fear nobody. You, you attack the track and you do the best with what you have. When you have the opportunity, you've shown that you can beat the Mercedes and you can beat Lewis. Are you able, as a competitor, to recognise publicly his strengths and his weaknesses, or you prefer just to look at him as another competitor? Now, the weaknesses are a little bit more difficult because you're not in the same team. Mm. Because I'm pretty sure if you would be in the same team, then you will see the weaknesses. But um, of course, I mean, that to be, I mean, of course he's, he has the best car. He still has a teammate to beat, which he is doing. But he's also, you know, very consistent in what he is doing for a long time now. I think, you know, he doesn't make many mistakes himself. You know, he doesn't crash. He always takes the points home. So that is something which is very important and he does that very well. So he's, he's definitely one of the, I think the best ever in Formula One. Just, not only just pure championship wise or whatever, but in terms of consistency, you know, you've seen some other drivers make some silly mistakes or whatever. He's not really doing that. So that makes him tough to beat because you cannot have a crash or, you know, you have to be always honored. But at the other hand, you're always starting on the first row. So the chance of a crash is not that big instead of being on the second or the third or even further behind to try and catch up. So that's also another thing. I mean, because once you're on the lead or second, I mean, when you're so comfortably out front with a, with a strong car, it's very hard to make a mistake. So one, one thing that I've been impressed with is, 